Right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash the like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video, guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I found this morning and shared with the members over at the Discord. And if that's something you want to become part of and interest you, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. By joining, you will become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. We went three for three with 20% plus home run opportunities today. And our highest one at its highest point was 35% plus. So stay tuned for that. And if that's something that you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to. So here we are with CLOV and we're also going to talk about wish stocks. So CLOV finally woke up from that downward trend. The question is, could this continue the rally upwards and pushing to newer highs at some point, forcing shorts to squeeze, creating it to go higher, or is this slightly going up and it might just reverse back down? There's some key things to be aware of. So before this went to newer lows, we were watching within this channel for this stock to stay up in this level okay it just got right back up towards it and that resistance level was up here at 1630 and our support was 1343 i would just round it down to 1340 right that got broken through from this point forward all the way down to these lows and it wasn't tug of war zone but the bears were pulling it down to newer lows reaching 1110 1120-ish right in that area it's been bouncing back since then it's back into this area this needs to keep pushing upwards to reach newer highs and new resistance levels and specifically break through that 1630 1640 mark to reach newer highs and new resistance levels pulling further away from the 50 day moving average but before we worry about the 16 dollar mark let's look at what's going on i just wanted to show you guys the bigger picture here with clove and what is important moving forward so the 50-day moving average is key at 1270 our support to watch is 1312 and the resistance level up here is 1450 okay 1450 needs to be broken through by the bulls to reach newer highs and down here at 1312 1313 that gets crossed i would watch how it reacts between the support and the 50-day moving average now, our other ticker symbol is WISH. These are the top two favorite stocks right now. And they're said to be the next AMC and GameStop. That's the word around town. That's the word on the Reddit forums. It's all over the Wall Street Bets forums as well. They're the top talked about stocks in the last several days and weeks. And right now, they're both pushing upwards. But WISH has had a little bit of more strength than Clove. But does it mean that wish can actually explode higher than clove or that clove will explode higher than wish there's still speculation and hype behind these and we have some clear things to look at moving forward so wish stayed within that channel didn't break through newer supports of 970 and it actually bounced up pulled back down consolidated and took off and basically it's created a staircase effect right the question is will it do another staircase effect creating that upward move to newer highs and new resistance levels that's the big question because this is right now in tug of war zone especially fighting with the 50 day moving average head to head there like it's a battlefield right now between the bulls and the bears now the higher the bulls take this the higher the chances the shorts will have to cover creating a short squeeze right turning them from bears to bulls now here we are with our support this is important 1313 if that gets crossed i'd watch this very carefully and if the bulls actually try to bring it back up see how it fights between 1313 and the 50 day moving average and how it's doing within that area to see if the bulls continue pushing upwards or if the bears just tear it right back down and the next support level I would watch is way down here at 1150. And informally, I would even use 1250 range to watch carefully. Now, 
Our resistance beyond the 50-day moving average, which is 1357, is right here, 1365. But since it's so close, the most significant one right now is the highest point reached in the day, and that was 1427. I would like to see the bulls turn that into a support to reach newer highs, new resistance levels, continue this momentum upwards and bullish rally, and pull further away from the 50-day moving average. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below between these two. Do you think they're going to be the next gamma squeezes? And are they comparable to the possibilities of AMC and also GameStop? I'm not saying that they're going to be exactly alike, but do you agree with what the Reddit forums are saying? And what is your thoughts? What's your price target? How many shares do you own? Or are you trying to find a great entry yourself and you're just watching right now? I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. If you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for is three to five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I found this morning. We went three for three with 20% plus opportunities presenting themselves. And if that's something you want to become part of and you want to know what stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the discord stay tuned so the ticker symbol i have to share with you guys today is one that i've talked about since it was at 11 dollars jumped up to 16 dollars and some change pulled back and i'm loving the consolidation and this is a stock that has a lot of potential because it's a leader in its niche guys a leader in its niche we're going to look at the chart and what its niche is in just a moment. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I found this morning and shared with the members over at the Discord. We went three for three with home run opportunities. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So, we caught RETO at 142, ENTX at 619, and ALF was pulling back. I had stated that it could actually go lower because a lot of investors that got in below $14 were probably going to take profits, and a lot of the volume was actually a little bit stagnant because it's a little bit less than the average volume of the last 10 days, and yesterday's volume was unbeatable. It was almost $200 million in total literally the total amount of market cap so imagine 200 million times 14 15 16 dollars that was humongous the amount of money that was traded was way more than the market cap itself but it was pulling back it hit the 11s consolidated and it took off the 13 dollars. so this turned out to be a home run as well it just didn't play out like the others and it took a little bit of patience but the ticker symbols i mentioned and we caught them were RETO. We caught this one in the pre market at 142, jumped up a little bit, pulled back to 135, and took off to a highest point of 25% plus. Phenomenal home run for the day. And ENTX was actually on its way upwards after consolidating. It took off, pulled back, jumped up again. I had stated that this was overextending. I was not going to FOMO on this one, but I was watching it closely. And as it was pulling back, it presented itself with an opportunity to buy the dip and sell the rip at a highest point of 35% plus. If this is something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. You can become part of this too. And we look forward to having you join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. So what's the stock and ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list? Well, it is ticker symbol F and that is Ford Motors, guys. Ford has actually been pulling upwards since I've talked about it. I've mentioned it as it was pulling downwards. It was consolidating and it was at the 14s and it's jumped up today to the 15s. This is phenomenal type of price action and this is what sends the signal of strength. Now, I talked about it way back here in the 11s, in the 12s, took off to 16 and as it's been pulling back, I've been talking about this and today... I was watching it. It was in the 14s when the day started in the pre-market and it took off to the highs here 
of 1553 now this is a leader in its niche and that is the truck industry right the f-150 number one most sold truck in the u.s market and in different parts of the world now they came into the niche with the ev truck right so the cyber truck is supposed to go up head to head with the f-150 f-150 has been around for so many years and this new ev innovation is huge guys and not only that but they brought back the maverick the bronco i mean they also got the emac which is like a ev version of of a mustang i guess is what they're trying to do with that and it almost looks like a model x tesla and it's just amazing to see the innovation that ford has done and if you dig deeper and you see things going on with the company itself right they can probably start to turn over a profit and change things around because q3 and q1 of 2021 and of 2020 they have actually been profitable and if they can do that and bring back the profits from 2018 2017 this stock is going to start making some moves beyond just a growth stock innovative stock and blue chip stock if you learn something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post this is not financial advice i'm just here to enlighten you guys on what stocks i'm watching and why i'm watching them i would no shape or form tell you guys to buy sell or hold any positions on any of the stocks i mentioned but this is informative and if you learn something don't forget do more research do some due diligence and check out the charts and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money